In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to render high-resolution still shots using Moto and our render farm. On our farm, distributed rendering of high-resolution still image is accomplished through strips, which constitute our custom distributed rendering system. The render farm processes your scene with strips rendering, employing horizontal or vertical render regions. Once these regions have been rendered, they are stitched into one final resolution frame. Now, let's prepare our scene for the farm render. First, review the render settings, ensuring that your camera is set to the desired one. Since we will be rendering a still image, make sure that the render range is set to a single frame. Another crucial consideration is the resolution unit. Confirm that it is set to pixels, not inches or centimeters. Now, increase the resolution to the desired one, such as 4K. If your project utilizes global illumination, ensure that the cache is not needed for farm rendering. On our farm, each render node gets a single strip to render, so GI will be calculated for each frame separately. If a GI cache is needed, create a light map and connect it to the scene. Next, add the render outputs. You can add as many outputs as needed, but ensure that the output paths are correctly set in the settings to the local drive. Outputs need to be enabled, and paths to the files cannot be empty. Once everything is set, save your scene and proceed to the Render Beamer menu. Simply select Beam It Up from the menu. The plugin will start working on your project. Initially, you'll receive two notification prompts about testing your scene and unsaved changes. The plugin will then begin checking the scene in the background for potential errors and issues, such as missing textures, unlinked objects, or incorrect cache paths. Once the plugin completes the preparation phase, the entire project data is sent to RenderBeamer. When the uploading process is complete, RenderBeamer will display a job submission pop-up. Here, you can either use the Submit button or copy the direct scene link and open it in your browser. Let's use the green button for now. You will then be redirected to our Web Manager dashboard. From here, you can set up your scene before adding it to the render queue. As you can observe, some of the render settings are reflected here. Keep in mind that the render setup on the Web Manager job window is typically intended for a farm render job. You can still change the resolution, output file name, or aspect ratio. Depending on farm availability, desired speed, and priority, you can choose from three types of render nodes. Next, set the global extension for your outputs. In the main outputs list, you can turn on and off any of the listed layers. Our farm fully supports Moto Render Passer system, so if your project is built with that feature, you will see an additional list in the Render Passes box. The Render Passes list stays empty if there are no pass items in the scene. Next, take a look at the Strips box. From here, you can decide how many render regions your frame will be divided into. Our system automatically checks the main output resolution and sets the recommended number of strips. However, you can also change that value. For example, 20 strips are good for 8K and higher resolutions. For a 4K resolution, 8 strips should be enough. Next, you can set the strips orientation between vertical and horizontal. Once everything is set and ready to go, use the Submit button. At this point, your scene will be added to the farm render queue. As you can see, there are currently two render jobs in the queue. The first job is the rendering phase, responsible for rendering all the designated strips. And the second job is the merge. Merge job handles the process of combining strips into one final frame. In the meantime, you can monitor real-time progress for each region. To do this, select the active job and use the Show Progress function or expand the side panel. This panel displays all currently rendering subjobs. Now return to the main progress view and await the completion of the rendering process. Keep in mind that both jobs work in tandem, so the merge job won't start until the rendering is fully completed. Once both jobs are complete, you can go back to Render Beamer and download the outputs. Switch to the Download tab, refresh the job list, and download all the files. Now, let's review the results. Use the Open Directory option directly on the downloaded render output. 
as you can see, each render layer is saved in a separated directory. Let's check the final color output. The rendered strips are downloaded into the main output path. The final result can be found in the merged folder. So, this is how the final 4K frame looks like. That concludes the process of distributed rendering for high-res stills with Modo. Happy rendering with GarageFarm.net. Thank you.